After a week of concern about Kate Middleton's health, Prince William made a high-profile visit to a synagogue in London on Thursday. According to royal sources, it was very much business as usual for William. The fact that William skipped Tuesday's high-profile memorial service for his godfather, King Constantine, the last king of Greece, added fuel to the fire of rumors regarding Kate's health. Officials close to William said he was not attending the ceremony because of a personal matter, leading many to wonder if this had anything to do with the fact that his wife had a setback in her recovery from abdominal surgery in January. Their subsequent clarification that Kate was doing well was much needed, but the abrupt cancellation which was particularly noteworthy, given that William was scheduled to read at the service has added to the growing chorus of voices, calling for the royal family to be transparent regarding Kate's recovery. The Daily Beast was informed by William's friends and other royal sources that the palace would not budge from its deliberate strategy of remaining tight-lipped over the princess's recovery due to toxic speculation. In response to criticism that the royal family should be more forthcoming with information, a friend of mine observed, the newspapers are always telling the family how to run their press operations. This was in reference to claims made in publications like the Daily Mail which imply that the royal family invites conjecture simply by doing nothing. Surprisingly, many appear to believe that the royal family should divulge more details about Kate this time. Getting involved just because the Daily Mail says so isn't William's thing. A friend of William stated, If William has read any of this stuff, it will only make him more determined to stick to his guns and keep his wife out of the limelight while she recovers. This was in response to the Daily Beast's observation that similar appeals are also being made across broadcast, print, and social media by ordinary people. The writing that is being produced is poisonous. There is an extremely small group of individuals who are fully aware of what is happening. Anyone expecting the palace to suddenly start giving lengthy updates on Kate will be disappointed said a former royal staffer who still has friends and contacts inside the palace. The main reason she is being held captive is so she can protect her privacy. Because it is effective, I imagine the press despises it. A very tiny group of individuals are fully aware of what is happening. It is noteworthy that so little information has been made public on Kate. She was last seen on Christmas Day, when she went to church. She had stomach surgery in the middle of January, and the palace issued a long statement on January 17th informing the media that they should not expect to see her until after Easter. What are your thoughts on this? Let me see them in the comments. Thanks and have a nice